So today's going to be a good one. Today is going to be an exceptional one because today we have two manticores in front of us. We got our red girl on the left. We'll get our golden boy on the right. And together, we will be combining the two of them to breed babies. Baby manticores. Copious amounts of baby man. I actually can't guarantee that. I don't know how breeding works with these guys here. But I will guarantee there will be at least one baby manticore. A powerful baby manticore. A baby manticore that hopefully exceeds the damage output of both of these two combined. I might be getting a little bit ambitious by saying that, but still, I believe it. And if I believe it, then it doesn't actually make it any more truer than if I didn't believe it. I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point, but let's get into this thing. I think, oh, wait a second. Why are you a different color? Um, unique prime hell horse, buddy? I left yesterday and you were green. Why are you now red? You're just a peasant hell horse now. There's nothing special about you. Other than the fact you can do copious amounts of damage, of course. I want my green horse back, man. Oh, I'm so disappointed. You looked so freaking cool yesterday. Ah, <sighs> Well, that's okay. You can just chill here for the time being. I got some manticores to breed up. We just have a few little things we got to do to prepare ourselves first. And that pretty much involves sacrificing one of these guys so who's it gonna be my little pygmy army will it be penguin one penguin two penguin three will it be a little king kong will it no not you you beautiful little beast oh my gosh you're adorable by the way saw some comments about evolving our little cinema credit what do you how do you even pronounce your name cinema Cin crops yeah, that's really not that difficult. I should get that one pretty easily, to be honest. But anyways, I don't think they can evolve. I kind of tried yesterday. It didn't really work. Or you. Oh, it's going to be you. We're sacrificing the RG today. And I'm going to get it straight into this. I don't want to waste any time. We killed something. Oh, we killed that golden dodo yesterday. That's right. And we got a ton of meat, which is going to make this all possible. We got really, really lucky with that. We just need 25 of these bad boys, which I'm pretty sure we have enough of. That's 11, 18, 24. Make that 25. By dropping all 25 of these guys straight into here. I might have... No, we did it. I always second guess my counting or my addition. All right, let's get this guy summoned in. And there he is. And for once, I'm actually grateful that we do not have a unique on our hands because now I don't need to feel bad either about sacrificing him and I don't need to waste time going getting a replacement. So I would say that bad luck today is good luck a little bit back to front but i'm happy that the good luck was used up yesterday and not today basically we've got our elixir crafted up and there's only one thing left to do and that's say goodbye to this beautiful silver rg right here goodbye friend thank you very much for yet another prime heart relic so what that means is all that should be left to do is feed these hearts to these beautiful manticores down here and we can make some babies Yay! So what do you think, guys? Are you ready to make some manticore babies? I'm looking at you, my red girl. I'm looking at you, my golden boy. Let's do this thing. I'm really, really hoping that this little timer thing doesn't pop up on the screen and say, eh, you're not doing it, but so far, so good. Let's go. I think I just, do I feed it to you? Oh, wait, do I have to, wait. Maybe I just, wait, maybe I just leave it, but... Wait, what do I actually do with this thing? I actually don't know. All it says is used to allow non-mating apexes to mate for a short period of time. Okay, maybe I just maybe I just sit it there. Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, and then you can have one as well. And then, oh gosh, I thought that message at the top of the screen was something more than what it was, but it wasn't. Um, behavior enable mating. Yo, we can do it. Oh, wait, hold on. You're not allowed to do it, though. I just set you to wander. Wait, hold on. No, it's mating. I think it's mating. Disable wandering. I, I, wait, wait. Was it? I saw the love hearts on it, but now the message is popping up at the top of the screen. That's not meant to be there. Uh, disable mating. Okay, hold on. Oh, gosh. Wait, no, it's because you're set to wander. Hold on. He might be breeding. He might be breeding. Are you breeding? Huh? I saw the love hearts. Where did the love hearts go? No, 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 no. Oh, gosh. And they were wondering, is it because you were set to wander? No, he's got love hearts. That means he's meant to be breathing. But I don't think he is. No, stop wandering away from me. Um, oh, they're mating. Okay, I have no idea what's going on. This guy is broken somehow. Um, but you, mate, mate. Do I really got it? You're going to make me put you on a leash. You're going to make me... Oh, gosh. What's the thing called? S plus... Um, 
Oh my gosh, what is it called? The hitching post, right? Yes, the hitching post. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. All right, if I gotta hitch you to a post to make this happen, I will do it. I will do it. I will so do it. Okay. No, stop walking away from me. Stop it, stop it, stop it. All right, I don't care. I don't know why the message is popping up, but it's whatever. Still allowed to happen apparently, and that's that's all that matters. So I'm gonna set you to follow for a second. I'm going to hitch these two so they cannot go anywhere. And now you will make me my manticore babies. Also, that is a massive like lasso loop, whatever you want to call this thing. I guess they got some big old chunky heads, don't they? I'm ready. I'm ready to catch this thing. I'm ready to catch it. Yo, <laughs> we did it. We've made a fertilized apex manticore egg. Ah, uh, I really hope this is worth it. Otherwise, I'm going to be, oh my gosh. Hold on. I'm looking at the ready to mate timer and it is all over the place. Have a look at this thing. Seven, five, four, six, two. It can't decide how long it wants to wait until it's ready to mate again. Well, okay. She may never be bred again if that's the case. Either ways, we have ourselves an egg to hatch. And I really, really hope that this thing exceeds the expectations of... I just hope it exceeds all my other dinosaurs because that's what this all comes down to. And I'm really, really hoping that that does happen. I was trying to hatch my thing up. Turns out my hatchery is now full again because you guys be laying too many. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's disable the mating. Oh, the mating must be disabled over here. How many little baby dodos have I got in my base that I didn't know about? We got a few of them. And they're all somehow alive. Wowzers. Okay, then. Well, uh, no, they're not. No, 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 no. We got some dead ones here, too. Oh, we got some decomposing bodies in the base. Oh, gosh. Uh, that's kind of awkward now, isn't it? Um, that's two that are alive. And I'm pretty sure the other ones are dead. Uh, let's just remove the remnants. Oh, I killed. Oh, gosh. I killed one of them. <laughs> I'm just trying to get this one out of the base, man. Can I get this one out of the base? Can I get it out of the base? Can I get it out of the base? Why won't you leave my base? Oh, I broke my bed. Wow. Okay, then. All right. Babies and... Oh, man. I can't even get this. Okay, whatever. It is what it is. I'll leave them to it. Um, but my, my egg is now getting ready to hatch. It's incubating at the present time, which is fantastic. Well, at least we've got plenty more eggs now that I can turn into pygmy treats whenever we decide that we need more pygmies. And on that note... It is time to meet our brand spanking little manticore baby. Show it to me, baby. Oh, what if it comes out unique? It's not unique. In fact, it looks exactly the same as Smolder. Maybe with a little bit of red hints in there. But anyways, we've got ourselves another Apex Manticore X. And you better believe I'm just going to pop this guy straight in my little bowl. That way he can get nice and strong. And I am going to unhitch old Smolder over here. And we... Why is there a giant dial? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Please. Oh, no, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Hold on. Wait. Disable wondering. I was going to say we're going to go straight up to visit Centurion. But then I realized I might actually need to feed this guy a kibble. To, like, ride him or whatever. I actually have no idea how that's going to work. So, now we're ready to go and visit Centurion. Ah, back up the top. Back up the tippy top of Mount Olympus. And it looks like we've got some alphas up here, which uh, is kind of... I don't know if that's good news or bad news, to be honest, which is, just means that they're going to be extra strong. Is my dude here ready, though? It's about to be in a couple of seconds. And it is ready. Let's meet our new Smolder 2.0, I guess. Hopefully. You guys, yeah, they look pretty similar. <laughs> I think they're literally just the same dinosaur, to be honest with this. Smolder, get inside of your bowl, buddy. New baby dinosaur. Oh, lucky. Okay, lucky I brought this. There we go. We had to waste that one there, unfortunately. Uh, but also, I might just borrow the saddle off of Smolder right here, just in case things get really, really, really nasty. Um, at least my dude here got some extra armor. All right, let's see what you can do, mate. Let's have a looky here. Um, oh yeah, that's right, my X attack. It's the X attack we gotta be using. Yeah, pretty lousy to begin with, not gonna lie. I'm really hoping this guy does kick some butt, but we'll see. 
We will see soon. Wait a second. Don't these guys have like a high chance of dropping a blueprint for us? I wonder if he will. Because if he does, that would be really, really handy to farm. So we can sacrifice him to our gerbil. Ooh. Didn't even think of that. Either ways, our buddy here is nearly taken down. I feel like one or two more hits. Yeah, one or two. Wham, kabam, and krizam, and shazam. There we go. We got, yeah, we did. Look at that. Ramshackle tech sword. I wonder if I can sacrifice this for, well, to our gerbil. Yeah, like I was saying. Either ways, we got 151 levels now. Let's go and allocate them. See what they can do for us. Taking the guy, I'm pumping 50 levels straight into health. Like that's that's rule number one. You, you drop this, the first 50 straight into health every time. Speed, I feel like he's going to need a little bit of that so we can actually outrun some things. Uh, he's got it. Yeah, he's going to need it. He's going to need it. That's all there is to it. Um, great. I'm actually going to... Hmm. Hmm. I was thinking of using a health potion, but we'll see how we go. Melee damage. Obviously, he's going to need that. He's, he's meant to be a killer. I need him to kill better than Smolder. In fact, I'm dropping health potions already. Um, and now I need to know what he can do. Because i got 20 more levels remaining. And I want to know what my guy here is capable of. All right, let's have a look. That's that's better than Smolder. That's better than Smolder, I think. And I think I think he might be stronger than Smolder. We might be looking at upgrades here. Three thousand per shot. I'm pretty. I don't. His, his melee attack ain't great. Not great at all. But all in all, okay. I need to do some quick comparisons right here, right now. Smolder, there you are. Okay. Just sit right here for a second, will you? All right, mate. So, what levels did I put into you? That's what I need to find out. Oh, stamina. Okay, I should probably focus on that too. 60 into health. And I put 60 into damage. We got 50 in health. And I've he's got I've got less levels in damage. Oh no, he's got 150 default levels in damage though. Oh, same. Exact same stats. Okay. 24 in speed. Where am I slacking? 30 in speed. Well, I think we get him. I think we get him to 60 levels into health. See, I think he is stronger. I think he is. He's got an extra 2,000 health. <laughs> this isn't much. I don't even know. What do I do with these last 10 levels, though? Do I, do I, I think, yeah, his stamina is shocking. 4,300 compared to 6,000. Uh, it's not like that big of a difference. Now, is it? One, two. All right, let's just, let's just throw a few in there. Now, is it 6,000? I actually have no idea what to do with these, with these levels. Do I, do, I, do I drop some in health? Maybe one more in speed? Probably shouldn't have done that. I think stamina might be the best bet. You know, just to give him that edge. All right, there we go. All right, smolder, mate. Sit tight, buddy. Uh, I need I need a name for this beast right here. Just, well, yeah, I need a name for him. Uh, but yeah, I think I got a good feeling. I got, a, I got a good feeling, I think. I think he might actually kick some butt. <gasps> oh, I just remembered as well. Okay, these here won't work for sacrificing because in case you don't remember what the little book says, we need um, projectile firing blueprints. So regular blueprints won't quite cut it. They need to be able to fire projectiles. Yeah. Anyways, I want to go and put this guy to the test. He needs some healing still. Yes, he's very low on health. But I want to find myself a prime. I'm looking for like a prime RG or something. That would be perfect. I want to find a prime. See how fast we can take it down. In fact, I do vaguely remember where a King Kong is currently residing in the jungle. So I might head over there and see if I can find one. But are there any crazy prime RGs or prime anythings? Man, I'll even take just some Apex Rexes right now just for the meat... Hey, that's a, that's Prime Argy. Hey, Prime Argy. That I think it's yeah. That's whoa. You're a little bit banged up. What did you get into a fight with, mate? Uh, should we just engage? Let's engage. Let's engage. I don't have a pig beyond my shoulder, so we are gonna have to be careful with stamina. I'm also low on health. I should not be engaging this Argy, but he's wow. He's so quick. All right, here we go. Here we go. Now's our opportunity. Okay. Oh, he's got fast HP regen. No. Okay, then. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that. But imagine if I'm just strong enough to take him down regardless. I don't think I am, just for the record. Whatever reason. Can I even hit this thing? Yeah, we can. But he got them crazy. He got them crazy regens that we we're talking about. Yeah, why aren't we hitting it? Why aren't we damaging it? Oh, he's got extra defense as well. All right, yep, I'm out. <laughs> the extra defense, extra heals, extra everything. 
That is just... Oh, and targeting range too. Yeah, that's just a recipe for disaster. So, I'm, I'm uh, yeah, no, thank you very much. Okay, now, I have seen one around here somewhere. I do want to be careful because monkeys are obviously very dangerous. There he is. Hey, I knew we had a monkey around here somewhere. And he's also got extra strong, extra fast HP regeneration, extra fast. Oh, come on, man. I can't catch a break. Um, I'm still going to hit it. It doesn't have extra defense, though. So maybe we can get lucky. I should probably use a health potion first, just in case. Oh, why am I fighting this guy? Is this a bad idea? Yeah, I can't fight you. You're healing too fast, man. You're healing way too fast, as a matter of fact. All right, I'm backing out. I'm bailing. All right, monkey boy. You get away with it this time. You know what I think we need? We need some giant spiders to go roaming over these lands again just to, like, chew up all of the trees. I miss when this place was a barren wasteland and I didn't take advantage of the fact when it was that way and, you know, tame as many pygmies as I could possibly get my hands on. That was so much easier to find back then, but unfortunately, that is no longer a luxury to us. What did I just see over here? Hold on a second. Uh, I think it was just a Lymantria and a Kano. But I saw it, yeah. Oh, it's a unique apex. Hello. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks for the loot, friend. What did you give me? Nothing of importance? Yeah, that's what I thought. There's got to be a pygmy out here somewhere, though, right? So, oh, hello, Spino. Where did you even just come from? Oh, it's an apex, too. Awesome. Little apex dialogue, I'm pretty sure. Nice. Hey, I'm always happy to take a little bit of extra loot. Come here. Come here. Come here. Get out of here. Bam. Why is my melee attack so weak? I feel like I'm meant to be stronger. Also, there's human beings out here that decide they wanted to fight me. Okay, then. Um, no weapon blueprints. Spino saddle. Yeah, nothing. Nothing too special, unfortunately. Moving on. Back to the old pygmy finding, I suppose. What do we have here? We got... Ooh. Docks. Oh, it's just a superior bow, metal pickaxe, bunch of other stuff that I... Don't really need, I suppose. Meh. To be careful, just in case there's like a gorilla out here. Just in case the gorilla's still angry with me, actually. That's what I... <gasps> hey! <laughs> hey, how you doing? I didn't even see you there. Do I even have treats on me? Oh, I don't have pygmy treats on me. Why am I even looking for... Okay, I'm... okay, be back. I'll be back in a second, mate. I'll be back in a second. Don't, don't move, don't move. I'll be back for you. Just give me, just give me a minute. Oh, I need a little Dodicurus. Ever since my two Dodies died, I... Yeah, well, I, excuse me. Well, one second, I'll be back. Lucky for us, we've got 35 treats. All right, there he is. I can see him. Man, as soon as you spot a pygmy, they're pretty easy to spot, like, straight after, aren't they? Just making sure there's not any, like, crazy threats in the area. And this little guy, lucky for him, is going to get all 35... Oh, I only gave him five. I only gave him five treats. Oh, no. I was meant to give him the whole stack. I did it wrong. All right. I just get, I got a warning that there's a pygmy nearby. That's cool. That's fantastic. It failed. Now we got to be on high gorilla alert. Because a vanguard, I'm sure, will not be too far away. Success. Okay. No giant monkeys. Damn. We got lucky with that one. There he is. Fantastic. That is what you love to see. All right. Dirty. Uh, let me try that again. Hello. Okay. All right. Dirty. Got him. And his little bag. There we go. Nice. <gasps> There's another one. <laughs> There's another one. Back to back, baby. All right. The area is still very fortuitous in the pygmy department. I wasn't even looking for pygmies today, but I'm happy to take him. Um, all right. I just want to make sure I get my bearings and what I'm doing and all of that really quickly. Let me just go zap and zap and zap. Zap all the little baddies. <gasps> That's a... I think he's over there. He's over there. That's a prime compi. That's a prime compi. Another prime compi. Ooh. Oh my gosh. This area is a jackpot. All right, hold on, hold on. I'm focusing on this guy first and hopefully we don't die to his monkey brother that pops up inevitably. Okay, five treats. Only five treats. I only got five treats in there. Let's hope it's enough. Oh, I probably don't even have any poison guns on me, do I? I never carry poison guns, and I didn't learn from my mistakes from a couple days ago. Because I, well, I assume I didn't. I, I, I haven't intentionally put any in. That's one fail. All right. Paying attention. Where's the Vanguard gorillas? Going to be on high alert now. Any second. They can just pop up and blow our brains to smithereens with a giant ball of poop. They can poop our brain to smithereens. <laughs> a little bit of a brain poop. Did I definitely transfer in more than one treat? Because... 
He'd be taking his sweet time to try another one, that's for sure. All right, I'm going to play it risky here for a second. I think we're fine. There he is. I get the feeling that he doesn't have any... <gasps> <laughs> Look who's just running around in the background. Oh, it's another unique one too. Oh, that's sick. All right, I'm, I'm going to get you, buddy. I'm going to get you. I promise. I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise. Okay. I really need to carry a cage around with me. Why did... I went to back to base. Oh, dude's still got four treats on him. What? The dude's got all the treats he needs. He's just choosing not to eat them. Uh, okay, there's a fail. No, do not land. What are you doing? Get to the sky right this second. Wait, are you the same one? Or are there two of these out here with us right now? There's a... Is that the same prime compy? All right, I might just neglect the gorilla for a second because we got a compy over here instead. Okay, if I can get his attention, I might be able to... I got grenades. Yes. Wait, where'd the compy go? There he is. There he is. Oh, can you get out of the water? I actually get the feeling that my grenades don't work in water. I am also paying very close attention that hopefully, yeah, he's coming for us. He's coming for us. All right. I'm going to stand right on the top of my little poison here. He's in the water. He's somewhat torpored up. That's what I want to be seeing. You know what would suck right about now? A little gorilla eats a treat, fails, summons in a big gorilla, kills us because it would happen. It really would. The compy knows how to evade us. Just skate across the river. And I can't get to you. Got him that time, though. That's not it. That's it. Now he's asleep. Now he's sleeping. Nice. <gasps> Do I even have prime meat? Yeah, I was going to say, surely you got some. <gasps> You've got... He's literally got... Oh, he's literally got rifles on him. He literally has every... Oh, my gosh. He literally had everything we needed to, like, knock him out way easier. What an absolute banana of me. Oh, well, what are we going to do? This is a this is a max level guy too. Level 1,250. They don't get stronger than that. All right, one last one for good luck. And that is that. We have ourselves a new unique prime compi. <laughs> Hello. I, I think... Oh, wait. What is that? What is that? Hold on. Alpha Kano. Oh, okay. That would have been annoying to run into. But I saw our little monkey dude. I'll get to him in a second. Oh, there's another. He ate another treat just then and another fail at that not in the water are you really trying to land in the water buddy how are we meant to know all right that's five fails five fails and i'm pretty sure he hasn't summoned in a giant gorilla yet so that's good but that's really good as a matter of fact but we don't have ourselves the monkey so i guess there's good news and bad news all right i see him this time around i'm not playing games have all 28 trees <laughs> oh gosh where's my dude all right let's go well, there's little compies out here. It's making me wonder. Another fail. Another fail. Another fail. Another fail. Another fail. All right, at least he's eating them now. That's another fail. There's too many fails, man. I have no idea how we don't have a Vanguard King Kong charging at our face right this second, but let's just be glad that we don't. Again? Oh, my gosh. This is the worst luck on a pygmy. He's going to eat all 32 of my treats at this rate. And yet another fail. And I'm probably going to say, I'm pretty sure I just saw a gorilla fall from the sky. We sure did. And what do you know? Oh my gosh, he's flying. Wait, why was he? Why, how did he just leap like that? Um, this guy has extra strong, extra fast, extra HP regeneration, which I think that means one, our monkey is pretty much untamable. And two, um, oh man, I got to get my, I should just carry my gorilla around from now on. But two, he's got all of our treats. So they might be lost as well now, which is extra bad news. Also, I gotta be careful because this guy will literally one shot us with one of these poops. That's just how strong he is. Yeah, look at the look at the rate he heals, man. And the worst part is, I don't even think I can touch ground anymore. Because the second I do. I was gonna say he's gonna be running straight back over here, but. He seems a little distracted, which is nice. Doesn't mean I trust him. Because he will surprise me. By the way, in case you're wondering how the little grill is doing. The small one. The one I'm trying to tame. He's right here. And he is most certainly not tamed up yet. But also, I think we're out of range of the Vanguard. Which means we might be safe for a little bit. I think. I have no idea. 
There's another fail. And just in case he can actually summon two gorillas, I'm still I'm gonna head up here. Success! Oh, okay, at last. Oh my gosh. Look, I think we're safe to pick him up. I don't think the Vanguard is anywhere near us. I really don't want to take any chances, but we need to. Oh my gosh, buddy, you absolutely suck. 20. Dude, he went through 10 trees. Maybe more. We lost two to whatever it was we tamed up first. And then 10. 10 of them. That is that is just silliness. So I just thought I'd head out for a little bit of a spin, see if we can find another prime to try and take down just to see what it could do for us. And I came across one all right. One that may be on the cards for us to fight very, very soon. Now, I can't even remember where he is, but he was up here somewhere. Is that him there? No, I didn't think so. Aha, he's right above us. There he is. And he got that fast HP regeneration too. Of course he does. Uh, either way, that is what we need to try to fight soon. An Apex Fire Wyvern Prime. They are crazy. They are ridiculously powerful. But if we can take one of those down, it may be a big step forward in us. Uh, we're taking on the next kind of tier of bosses in this mod. The guy's only got 150,000 health. I wonder if I could like... The problem is, right? I struggle with these regular wyverns. I struggle with these guys, let alone a prime tier. Look at that. Two shots and he's still not dead. Get out of here, mate. For him, I don't really know what we're going to need. Gorilla, perhaps... Hell horse, maybe something completely different. Who knows? But I'm just happy to be home. So all in all, I honestly have no idea if our little baby manticore here is as strong as its parents were. But if it is, it's 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 probably only a little bit. It's 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 not as much as I was hoping for.